So Duluth, Minnesota, um, beautiful, beautiful city. If you go there, I highly recommend. Uh, I would say avoid it from November to March. It's right by Lake Superior and uh, you get the lake effect snow. But absolutely beautiful, extremely green city, um, trees everywhere, right right by the lake. So the lake view is, is great. It's also a pretty decent sized city, about 100,000 population. So um, if, if, if farm, you know, farm sticksy areas aren't the thing, Duluth is not necessarily that. It's a pretty good sized city. I, in fact, I'd compare it to Provo. It's probably my best way to think of it as far as population and demographic wise. Is, um, interesting facts, um, it used to be and still might be a port city, which is why it was built. Um, it's built on a hill, which in Minnesota winter is, uh, if it wasn't a port city, I'd say it was a stupid idea to build it the way they did, because it's literally right on a hill. So the winter time is interesting, but uh, it's a great city and I, it's one of those areas I hope to go back to. Um, if and when I, I do go back to my mission, I hope I definitely go back because it's absolutely a beautiful, uh, beautiful area. Um, a lot of, a lot of the, a lot of my mission stories, a lot of mission memories are from this area. Some of them, you know, more spiritual, more serious. Uh, some of them not, and some um, in between. Um, I do know, uh, I kind we met one of the people we baptized from that, from that area. Um, we met simply through street contacting. Um, and that may seem like a small thing, but for me that was significant. Kind of just like showing that, um, that something is as simple or even monotonous, so to speak, as tracking, contacting, can still be effective and you can still find people by, by means of, of doing that. Um, and, and through teaching that man, it's also been a testimony builder. He had, without going details, he had a lot of, a lot of bad habits and a very, um, a very interesting past. And it was, once again, a testimony builder to me that there really is nothing, nothing we can do that the Lord can't forgive and that the Lord can't change and, and, and change hearts.